Okay, so this is a lab view version for monitoring the current transducer. Works in exactly the same way as bench view in that the Omicron is injecting the current and the DAC is reading the injected current and the milliamps output. The connection to the DAC is here in this little unit, which if we double click them and he fires up, um, and you can see there, these are the commands that I'm using just to extract the data out of the DAC, each one in turn. And then it has to, because they come out of strings from this DAC block, uh, I've put a little indicator there to read those strings directly. And then I've got a conversion factor that puts them into the plots to go out to the graph at the end of the sequence. And it also builds up an array, which is a table of data going in there. And then we have an output to output it to a CSV file. Uh, and the rest of it is just the control for this whole loop for taking the readings and filling up the array. Um, so at the front screen, this is what it looks like. I've got my emergency stop button because you have to have emergency stop buttons. I've got the two readings that will come out as the data is captured, fills the array up here, and then at the end, it'll put it into the graph. This value here is a single factor to control the speed at which it takes the readings because I've had a little bit of trouble manually synchronizing this with the Omicron, uh, but we'll give it a run and we'll see what happens. And you should see it start to build up the array as it takes the readings, but it is a little bit behind the Omicron. So the Omicron's finished now. It's still doing the readings and you can actually see the last reading did come out. Uh, it's just that it's that far behind, you don't see it. And then I can save it to a file. That's that bit done. And there you can see the output, that's the array there, the data that it collected, it's the last set of readings. And then the plot link comes in at the end, but obviously I've exported it to Excel or exported it as a CSV file so Excel can open it. And then I'll be able to do some more analysis of that. But yeah, that's the same test on transducer just done with LabVIEW this time.